Hey there folks, today I've got a PBR battle for you against Parlor 2 Pi. We've had lots of battles before in the past, but I think they've all been DS battles except for this one. Uh, anyway, so uh, looking at his... T so this is a doubles battle, um, and uh, the team I'm using is a team that really looked good on the drawing board, had some really excellent synergies, some really great combos, but it never really worked out quite the way I wanted it to. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm still accepting the occasional PBR challenge, but... Please don't challenge this team. Uh, in fact, if you challenge this team, I'll probably say no, I don't want to battle with this team. But anyway, so the first strategy is that I lead off with Soul Rock and Lantern, um, and I go for uh, Skill Swap uh, with uh, my Soul Rock so that um, Lantern has Levitate and Soul Rock has um, Volt Absorb. So that means that I can go for Discharge and uh, heal up. Um, my Soul Rock, and then Soul Rock can go for Earthquake the next turn without having to worry about hitting Lantern. Unfortunately, um, you know he's got that uh, he's got that uh, what should we call it? Camera up out on the field. Now I wasn't worried about eruption because most of my Pokemon resist fire type moves, um, but I was not expecting. The, well, I guess I should have really expected the Trick Room, especially with the Camera up. Uh, but I really didn't know actually how well this team would do against Camera up. But anyway, I went for the Hydro Pump just to try to take out the Camera up. Uh, but he went for Protect, which is actually a really good move. So now, now here I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump against Camerupt. I uh, just hope to take it out this turn. Um, now, Solrock might not be the best Pokemon for this combo. Maybe uh, where Claydol might be better, considering, you know, uh, Solrock is actually weak to Ground-type moves, and so losing the Levitate ability kind of does hurt it. But it doesn't matter anyway. He doesn't actually get hit by a uh, Ground-type move. It's just going to get taken out by a Shadow Punch from that uh, freaking Dusk Noir, which is really doing a really good job against my team. My Hydro Pump misses, and that is going to be awful, and it's going to really set me back a lot. And so now I'm thinking, now I could send out my Licky Licky, which is going to be the source of my Pokemon, basically to try to wear, wait until the end of the Trick Room, but I'm not going to do that. My Nessic has um, Water Absorb, so I, anytime I go for Surf on my Lantern, it's going to regain some health. So here I'm just going to go for Surf, 100% accurate, and hopefully I can take out Camera up this turn. Luckily he doesn't go for Protect. Earth Power is, uh, it does actually about half. Um, he's got a Life Orb, which is interesting when you're running Eruption, but I guess it works. Anyway, um, he was counting on that, I, I'm not sure what he was thinking there, uh, using Pain Split, I think that was probably a misclick. But he, it does, I think it actually might heal me a little bit, uh, rather than healing him at all. Anyway, you get a crit against his Dust Noir. It still doesn't do really very much. Luckily, the move is 4x, or rather 3x, probably with Solid Rock, effective against Camerupt, and I am able to take Camerupt out. So that's quite nice. And Nessie is restored back up to well, close to full HP, gotta say. Uh, so Nessie's now going to use Thunderbolt, and it is not enough to take out this Dusk Noir. And now it's at a low enough health that Pain Split is actually going to do quite a bit. Um, it would be really nice to have a Taunter on this team, I guess. I guess? I don't know. Um, anyway, he sends out his Bloody Dino, his Rampardos, which I think has been in one, almost every single battle I've had against this guy. Anyway, this is, actually, uh, this is I believe, my only doubles team in PBR that uh, doesn't rely on Trick Room or doesn't work well in Trick Room. And it's really a shame. I really should have brought a different team to this battle. But anyway, Kesha, his Dusk Noir, I don't get why it's Kesha. I honestly don't. Um, goes ahead and goes for Pain Split, recovers a whole lot of HP, and that's going to be bad because I'm not going to be able to take out that thing quite as easily now, and I really need that thing dead. Um, luckily, his Rampardos um, went for the Hammer Arm, and it missed. Well, I mean, it, I was protecting. I was like, yes, I take out his Bloody Dino. His Bloody Dino actually must have survived on like one or two, and that's going to be a huge deal for me, and that's going to really screw me over. Lantern is taking hits like a champ. Uh, it's, I mean, it's supposed to be a special wall, but it's taking physical hits as well. Uh, Rock Slide is going to connect against both of my Pokemon, and it's actually going to take out both of my Pokemon this next turn. So that's really, really bad for me. I am losing kind of hardcore here, but I'm thinking, okay, all I need is for his Trigger to go down, then I can do some sweepy sweeping, and this could all be over. Uh, and indeed, the trick room is going to end now. So I'm like, okay, let's do this. Um, and, you know, tag team that Dust Noir maybe. Although it's at such low health, I don't probably don't even need to tag team and just take it out before it can really do too much to me. His bloody Dino is obviously not running max speed, so I don't have to worry about that. So yeah, 
Uh, Emily, uh, my uh, Drifloom can go for a stab Shadow Ball against his Kesha, and um, you know, it's. I'm thinking that that should be enough to take it out, and I really should have not. I really shouldn't have counted on that. I should have double. Uh, you know, I should have tag teamed it. But I also wanted this bloody Dino taken out, considering the fact that it just has such monstrous attack and really could have done a number, especially with my ghost type Pokemon. So I figured it was a pretty big threat too, but and I was pretty sure that a, a stab, super effective, I'm pretty sure I'm running modest, Shadow Ball was going to be enough to take him out. He survives on such low HP and uh, I get the special defense drop now, which, yeah, that's so useful now. Now he goes for the Trick Room. Actually, I guess, you know, he's going to be pain splitting next turn, so I guess it is kind of useful. Ugh, oh my god. So now he sends out his uh, Meganium. And I'm like thinking, what's the Meganium going to do? All the Meganiums I've seen run support sets, so kind of interesting. I'm going to switch out here. I'm not going to want uh, my Emily to be out here when he's got, uh, you know, when he can just hit it with a Shadow Ball, and that would be awful. Um, Aramaki has a Focus Sash, so I'm thinking, hey, I just hit it with, you know, I hit his Kesha with a Psychic, and this can all be over. At least with that Dust Noir. That Dust Noir is really, really screwing me over here. Um, so anyway, now it's going to come Licky Licky, the slowest Pokemon of my team by far. He goes for the Pain Split, so that is going to recover him up a lot of health. A I mean, it basically brings him back to full. And so, uh, meanwhile, that thing's going for Swords Dance. I didn't even know that thing knew Swords Dance, or could learn Swords Dance. That's just... I'm kind of worried here, but, you know, we'll see. I go for the Psychic doesn't really, I mean, it doesn't do enough to kill, definitely doesn't do enough to kill, but Aramaki still is untaxed, um, or has still has its focus on intact. I'm going to go ahead and power whip, I think I'm actually going to double team, uh, you know, tag team now against that uh, Dust Noir, because I need that thing dead, I really, really need that thing dead. Kesha go is going to go for a Shadow Punch, I think that's okay, I've got a Sash, I'll survive no matter what. And indeed, I do survive no matter what, so that's great. Uh, I go for the power that actually connects, which is great, and uh, surprisingly, it takes him out. I haven't gotten off any curse boosts, so uh, yeah, I am actually really happy. I guess it was more especially defensive than physically defensive, but anyway, I take it out. I'm so happy. His land before time goes for Seed Bomb at that range of health, and considering it as he's at plus two, it is going to take out my Lucky Lucky, and this is not going to be particularly good. I don't know what other moves he's running. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and go for a second. Had I gone for the super effective um, signal beam, well, I guess it would have done a little bit more, but not too much more because it's not stab. But oh well, I uh, send out Emily. Um, he's going to go ahead and send out Starmie. Uh, so let's see. So I've got two Pokemon left. He's got three, so it's not out of the realm of possibilities that I could win this, but it's just not very likely. So that Ninja Star, I'm actually predicting is going to be faster than at least my... Um, my Emily. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, he goes for Outrage. And now Outrage is not that great of a move in doubles because you don't get to choose your target. So that could have really backfired on him. Well, I guess not. I mean, I guess either of my Pokemon uh, were right to be, to be taken down. Um, but if I'd had a Steel type out, for instance, would not have been a good move. I do, in fact, outslow his Starmie, but his Starmie has a Sash. It's gonna screw me over. I, I get the special defense drop. Useless. Useless. He's going to go ahead and use Blizzard, and I'm thinking, okay, well, this is a good game. I mean, I'm the only one Pokemon left on the field, so Blizzard's going to do maximum amount of damage. I actually don't die, but I get frozen. Now, uh, what I didn't show is that I survived on 1 HP. Doesn't matter, I get taken out here, and that is good game. So, great game, Collar 2 Pie. Uh, great job beating me. This was a really, really interesting doubles battle. Um, folks, I, you know, I... I was originally going to end the week with this battle, but I found one other, and this battle is kind of leaving a bad taste in my mouth, so there'll be another battle up tomorrow. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.